Well, we're sitting down on a park bench because doing these What's Up With CE episodes is hard work. But guess what? We're gonna get through it and today we're gonna to talk about your daily rhythm, otherwise is known as the ideal day and week. So one of the questions I get asked all the time from uh, different clients or if I do an event, people coming up to me and saying, um, I need to get structure. Um, that's probably the most common thing. Structure and consistency are probably the two things. Um, they go together, side by side. And if I look at how would you structure your week, because I get people saying, how do I get an ideal day and week happening, Claudio, for me? Um, Agents get it wrong. I'll tell you what they do. They actually go first for all the business stuff that they need to put down. So, you know, uh, prospecting for new business, you know, vendor management, buyer management, vendor reports, marketing, all that type of stuff. And they put all the business stuff in when they should actually just be putting in firstly, where I start with number one, which is you, me time. And I always say when it's me time, it's about happiness starts within because how you feel on the inside vibrates to those on the outside and if you're doing the hustle and you're doing the grind and you're not doing anything for yourself first guess what happens you don't enjoy it you walk into a listing presentation and people feel your energy people feel your attitude so the first thing you got to think about is my me time so what does that look like just for me do yourself a favor and invest in a morning routine that's what I'd say to you meaning that I'm crazy I get up at 4 in the morning I'm in the gym at 4:30. By about 5.15, especially right around now, I'm jumping into the cold ocean water, and that's part of my winter challenge. And then at 5.30, and I've got Clinton here shaking his head going, you're crazy, dude, I know, I know I'm crazy. 5.30, get home, do a bit of stretching, then I get into a little bit of meditation as I'm stretching. And then finally, I do some breathing exercises, which I checked out through, it's called Breathe Me, and it really just about taking the carbon dioxide out of your, out of your system. And if you breathe really deeply for around 10 minutes, it can make you change your state, but actually make your body feel alive. So that's my morning routine, then get into breakfast and coaching calls, and, and you get the role, right? What happens during the day. But number one is put the things that make you feel good first in your week, right? In the structure. Um, it could also be like, for me, family time is super, super important. So Friday nights, it's in my diary, six o'clock, we all get together as a family. We might go to the local pizza bar, we might have dinner at home from some takeout, but it's in the diary, yeah? But that's part of my me time. Then the second thing is, um, you may start looking at, is part of your structure. Number two is family time, like the things that you do with your family. So a quick example is Tuesday night, my daughter plays, um, has a coaching lesson. She goes from 6.30 to 7.30, that's blocked out. Not only do I have to pick her up, but I actually enjoy sitting there watching her get her lesson. Other things that I do is Saturday morning, I watch my son, he's got a tennis uh, competition he plays in. That's my family time. Sunday, we get together as a family and we go and play tennis in the morning. A lot of tennis, as you can see. My background was a tennis player before, by the way. Um, and then we just basically get into doing the tennis in the morning and then we have breakfast all together at the local cafe. And I get my bacon and egg roll and I get my double espresso and that's my family time. So number two is structure part of the week, family time. And don't forget, put time in for your partner as well. Then the third thing I put in is, yep, personal development, yeah? I've got to tell you, the amount of people that I still see today not studying, learning and growing because they feel that they have the black belt mentality. Um, if there's one piece of advice I can give you today would be is come from a place of white belt mentality. White belt mentality is you're always willing to learn, you're willing to study, you're willing to grow. And if you come from that mindset for the rest of your life, because I truly believe you'll never stop learning, you'll never stop um, uh, growing and you apply that as a value in your life and you take time in your week for personal development. I mean, there is like thousands of podcasts, thousands of YouTube videos, but also great people that you can listen to and go and watch. And personal development in my week is super important. And I do that for about 30 minutes every day, but it's structured into my week. And then the final thing that I do is the business stuff. That's when I put that in, that's my final thing. Because if I get all those three other bits in pieces, I feel happy and I feel like I've got the joy. And when I have that, guess what happens? When I do my business, it's no longer grinding or hustling. 
if you're grinding and hustling, um, and don't get me wrong, you may need to do it for the first three years when you're in business, right? You've got to grind and hustle. But I don't think that you'd want to be doing it for the rest of your life. And I see some agents going, you've got to grind and hustle and you've got to put the business stuff first. And you know, they're, they're 15 years into it. They look overweight. The family's broken. And they're pretty sad and depressed. I don't know if that's the sort of world you want to live in, but certainly not my world. I think you really want to honor the things that make you happy first, put those three things in, and then do your business things last into your week, which is all the stuff. And you'll feel you'll have a different level of energy, a different level of enthusiasm, and a different attitude towards everything that you do, rather than feeling tired and sometimes lost. That's how you structure your week, but remember, you've got to develop consistency with it. The moment you don't de get consistency with it, you start to feel like you're going in a downward spiral. Consistency is key. And the final note I would just give you is, out of all that as you do your week, what's the things that you need to eliminate in your life right now? Think about that. Because as you do your week, sometimes you're not going to, you know, your son's sports game on a Thursday night when he's playing basketball, because maybe you're working or drinking with friends or whatever else. What are the things that you need to eliminate right now? Make a list, create what I believe your daily rhythm.